Today we're going to be reviewing the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. This is a 7 inch tablet. It is available at Amazon today at between $169 and $199. It comes with 8 gigabytes of storage and it does have an expansion slot on the side here. As you can see, that expansion slot will allow you to grow your, your tablet another 32 gigabytes. This tablet is uh, not the fastest tablet on the market. It, it runs with a 1 gigahertz ARM Cortex A9 dual core processor. It is installed with 1 uh, gigabyte uh, of memory and the uh, Sorry about that. Wants to update. Comes with uh, 4.1 Jelly Bean Android. It's a very light tablet at weighing only 12 ounces. It's very thin. It's got beveled sides, a fairly flushed uh, uh, screen sides, rounded corners. It's got a nice uh, looking back. It is slip, uh, a slip brushed uh, aluminum with your camera. The video graphics on this particular tablet are 1024 by 600. Not real great. Uh, it's a 7 inch screen. It does have a 1.3 uh, megapixel front facing camera and a 3 megapixel rear facing camera. It does come with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 3 and a digital compass. It has only a micro SD slot and uh, it is the Samsung ta uh, Galaxy Tab 2. Uh, it, it, it is, um, in my opinion, uh, not the best attempt by Samsung. Uh, there is a Galaxy Tab 3 that's out on the market now that we'll review later. Uh, however, if you uh, are on a budget and you need a, a smaller tab that has camera, and uh, many of the, the uh, many people like the small profile, and they like the seven uh, or eight inch tablets. Um, you know that this this tablet may be for you. It does come with Kindle, Netflix, YouTube. Um, one of the nice features of this can of this tablet, if you look right over here in the lar the large black section there, it acts as a remote. Uh, this tablet does have a decent remote. It is an IR blaster and uh, it will control most of your uh, uh, devices at home. So if you need a tablet that uh, can you know, do all the, the many uh, uh, things a tablet can do with the addition of a, a remote, this, uh, this tablet uh, may be the tablet for you. It is inexpense, uh, inexpensive. Um, it has a five hour uh, battery life on heavy use, seven to nine on light use, uh, light to, to moderate use. Uh, that's not the best, uh, that's not the worst. It's, it's right there in, in the middle. Um, as far as pros, the tablet is inexpensive. It does come with a remote. It is decent looking. It's, it has average performance. Uh, it is lightweight at only 12 ounces. The background screen that you see here is a much nicer screen. This is proprietary with the Samsung. Uh, comes standard on the on the uh, on the, the Galaxy Tab 2. It is a nicer looking tablet than the Android 4.1. Um, this is a, a a good money investment for someone who just needs a tablet for everyday use. Cons: It is sluggish uh, in responding responding to your fingers. So as you touch the tablet, uh, you, 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 sometimes you get instantaneous responses, other times there's a lag, or sometimes you even have to touch a second time. Now that's not entirely uncommon with other tablets, but it seems to be more common with this tablet. The, the performance is really mediocre. It's not great, it's not terrible, it's just mediocre. Uh, there are no expansion slots and uh, the uh, permanent applications that are, that are on here, those are the ones you cannot delete, are not always useful. And it is Wi-Fi only. 
Um, this is the Galaxy Tab 2 7 inch tablet. I do not give it a thumbs down and I do not give it a thumbs up. It's right in the middle. There is a place on the market for the Galaxy Tab 2. Um, you can get reconditioned Galaxy uh, Tab 2s for right around $100, which is uh, fairly reasonable. If you do not need the camera feature, might I recommend the Kindle Fire or the Barnes & Noble Nook um, because I feel they are better tablets uh, in, in their graphics and what you get for the money. And for the $149 price on those tablets, uh, it may, may suit you better. Again, the Galaxy Tab 2 by Samsung.